Authentication in cybersecurity is the process of verifying the identity of a user, device, or system before granting access to sensitive information, applications, or networks. It is a critical component of any security strategy, ensuring that only authorized users can access resources while preventing unauthorized access. The following are different types of authentication methods. First, we have password-based authentication. The most common method is where users enter a username and password. It's straightforward but vulnerable to attacks like brute force, phishing, and credential stuffing if passwords are weak or reused. Now that we've covered the most basic type of authentication, let's take a look at more advanced methods that provide extra layers of security. Next, we have multi-factor authentication. MFA requires two or more verification factors. Typically, it includes something you know, something you have, and something you are. It significantly enhances security by requiring multiple layers of verification. After that, we have two-factor authentication. This is a subset of MFA. It requires exactly two verification methods, such as a password and a one-time code. It's commonly used for online accounts to prevent unauthorized access. Then, we have biometric authentication. This method of authentication uses unique physical characteristics like fingerprints, facial recognition, or iris scans. Biometric data is difficult to replicate, making this method highly secure, although concerns about privacy and data breaches exist. Then, token-based authentication. This method involves a physical or digital token, such as a smart card, hardware device, or mobile app that generates a one-time passcode. It's often used in banking and secure enterprise environments. Following that, we have certificate-based authentication. This method utilizes digital certificates issued by a trusted certificate authority to verify the identity of users or devices. This method is commonly used in corporate VPNs and secure email communications. Next, we have single sign-on authentication. This method enables access to multiple applications using a single set of credentials, improving the user experience and reducing password usage. Then, we have behavioral authentication. This method analyzes user behavior patterns such as typing speed, mouse movements, or device location. It adds an extra layer of security by detecting anomalies in user behavior, which could indicate an unauthorized attempt. After that, we have risk-based authentication. This type of authentication adjusts the level of authentication required based on the perceived risk of the login attempt. It considers factors like device and browser information, user location, IP address, and login history to decide if additional verification is needed. Next, we have Kerberos authentication. This is a network authentication protocol that uses tickets to allow nodes to prove their identity securely. It's commonly used in enterprise environments for secure and efficient authentication. This is the default authorization technology used by Microsoft Windows. Finally, we have challenge response authentication. In this method, the server presents a challenge and the user must provide the correct response, often generated using a secret key or algorithm. It's used to verify identities without transmitting sensitive data. These were the most common authentication methods. I hope you found the video helpful. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or would like to learn more about specific authentication methods, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video. Remember to use a password manager and I will see you in the next one.